Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So in this video, we will discuss about the email notification settings in WooCommerce. Whenever someone places a new order, you will receive an email. Whenever you complete the order, you process the order or if you refund the order, the customer will be notified by an email. And all these email notifications are handled by WooCommerce. So let's see how does this work. I'm already logged in to the WordPress dashboard of this website. Now go to WooCommerce and under WooCommerce, go to settings. Now you will see a tab emails, go to emails. Now here you can manage all the email settings handled by WooCommerce. Let's see, this is the new order. So whenever someone places a new order, an email will be sent to this email address. To change, you can go to manage and here enter your email address. So I'll enter one of my website email address. Now the subject, here you will see the subject, the site title and the new order and it will be the order number. So this is how you will see the new order email. If you want to add multiple email addresses, you can simply put a comma and add another email address. So the email will be sent to multiple email addresses. Once done, click on save changes. Go back to email. Here you will see two emails are added. So whenever you receive a new order, the email will be sent to these two email addresses. Now canceled order. These are the same settings. You can simply go to manage and enter the email. If customer cancels the order, the email will be sent to this particular email address. You can see the subject site title order order number and has been cancelled this will be the subject of the email all right now click save changes go back to emails now the first three emails are for the shop owner failed order if someone tries to order and for some reason if it gets failed you will also get notification of the failed order you can go to manage and enter your email and this will be the subject of the email order dash dash has been failed click save changes go back to emails now the first three email settings are for the shop owner and the remaining are for the customer so whenever you put the order on hold you can notify the customer you can click manage if you want to disable this option you can simply uncheck this box and it will not send any notification to the customer for this particular reason you can see the subject your order has been received thank you for your order if you want you can change this additional content here and save changes all right so these are the settings order on hold processing order if you want to notify the customer that you are processing on order you can enable this option otherwise you can disable it when the order is completed the customer will be notified that your order has been completed Let's see, go to manage. This is enable, you can keep it enable. This will be the subject, your order is now complete. If you want additional content, you can enter the additional content here. All right, and click save changes. All right, so if you want any additional note to the customer, you can enable that options also. This one is reset password, customer reset password, emails are sent when customers reset their password. So whenever they create an account on the checkout page, they will be notified that the account has been created. All right, so this is the email sender option. So customer will see this from your website name. This will be the name of your website. You can change it if you want from the email address, your email address. So customer will see this. And this is a header image. Now let's see the email template. This is the standard email template. You can edit this one also. You can uh, add image here. Let me see. 
if we can add an image let's use this logo we'll try with this logo okay here you can enter the link of your logo and let's change this color to match the color of your website and let's save the changes and see how does this look refresh it now here you will see the logo is added as well as the color of the template has been changed now here you will see the footer notice here you can delete if you want and click save changes now refresh it and you can see that that part has been deleted let's delete this dash also and save changes refresh it all right so this is how you can change the email template also all right so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.